Welcome back to my popular opinion. Thank you for tuning in and make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications on. So I want to get on here and talk about Ice Spice, Miss Isis. Um, she released her Rolling Stone. She's on the cover of it. And she did some articles in there about her um, beef or whatever issues that she had with Nikki. To me, it was one side of beef because she had an issue and wasn't expressing it and was an expre and expressing it to third parties. Um, and then her issue with Lotto Mulatto, the mistress, Miss Piggy herself, talking about her issues there and other things about her career. Now, I like I said before, I used to be in support, somewhat supportive um, Ice Spice because I used to feel like she had her own mind. I felt like she kind of had her own thing going. Unfortunately, I was wrong about that. And a lot of that stuff is kind of like coming out that she really likes to play a lot of weird games, too. Um, in my last video, I was talking about how she kind of she's doing some clown behavior and she's not as um, original or strong minded as I thought she was for her to give into some of this BS. But she definitely did the. Um, the cover and and everything looks cute the photos and stuff looks cute ice is actually a pretty girl that's not the problem um the the problem is whatever games her and her team are trying to play and always trying to do little weird stuff with nikki but let's talk about the comments she made about um lotto so i'm just gonna read it she says i feel like if we ever spoke and i asked her what's the issue i'd it'd be like a blank stare It'll really be no issue whatsoever, especially from me, I says. I can understand a friendly competition, but I just feel like at this point it's a joke that she's just dragged out. And it's just not funny. Like, bro, thank you to S is from uh, or thank you to Ish is from January. You're going to post a piece of ish cake to announce something that's good news for you which that is kind of true but it is kind of a compliment because you're taking something that's supposed to be fun a fun moment for you and you're making it about me again so now i'm not the in most support of ice as i used to be but she did not lie about that lotto is clearly obsessed with her lotto was throwing shade from the very beginning i don't see how some of these bird brains on social media keep saying oh it wasn't lotto who started it ice spice started it. no lotto literally had a video of her in a disc record well premiering a disc record and had a video of ice spice in the background that was very strategic that was very obvious that she did it on purpose and she was intentionally trying to get ice spice attention so the whole thing to me started from miss piggy miss milkmaid mulatto to be begin with um i spice just retaliate well not retaliated she responded in a very playful way and to be honest i think that lotto's bitter that isis response of thank you to the response of thank you the ish actually became like more successful did more numbers than you know uh anything that lotto did to try to clap back at ice or clap at ice period um so it does make sense that she's bitter towards ice i think she's quite jealous of her whether people think that Lotto is a better rapper or not, Ice is more, I would say she was more grounded. And like I said before, it appeared that she had more of her own brain, which we know Lotto ha does not have her own anything. She don't have her own identity brain or nothing. She don't even got her own man. Okay. And we're not going there, but <laughs> nevertheless, I do think it stems from a place of like jealousy. And I think Lotto feels like she's better than Ice Spice and she doesn't understand why Ice gets all this attention, which is why every moment she gets, she is constantly bringing up thank you to Ish or like you have moments about yourself and you're doing like stuff that references ice spices this towards you which is like the the poopy um cake and stuff like that a lot of, like i said before lotto is just very corny and childish so i definitely agree with ice there and i'm happy that she's not afraid to address people like miss piggy lotto no um moving on from that she also addressed the stormy girl and she addressed Nicki minaj um which i feel like of course you're gonna address Nicki. but to me she admitted that um what she said about Nicki, she admitted it so to me that's kind of like mm, you're addressing it and then you're admitting what you said so you really are a fool you know what I'm saying? Whoever is on Ice Spice team, which I think G. Roberson, who used to work with Nicki Minaj and who's like bitter, 
I think he's steering her in the wrong direction or whomever. They're steering her in the wrong direction. First, it was making her do the Nikki inspired wigs. It's her talking crap about Nikki. And then now you're doubling down on it and admitting it. She was better off just not even acknowledging what the text messages said and just leaving it to speculation. But they're advising her to speak about it. And I think she spoke about it wrong. She says... As for her relationship with Nikki, I says they're good. I don't really think she cares about ish like that coming from a random girl. But what I said in those texts was just in a moment of frustration around contract negotiations. But why are you discussing contract negotiations with a random girl? Anyway, I explained. But at the end of the day, regardless of how I felt in that moment, so you're admitting it, dummy, is still somebody I respect as an artist. And I'm always going to admire everything she's done for me and the culture. You better. <laughs> um, she says we don't have the closest relationship you know but we're definitely good I said thoughts okay anyway um, yeah y'all don't have the best relationship because you're a snake and Nikki caught it and I'm happy that Nikki does have discernment to catch things like that you literally used her she gave you two collaborations you made her think you were going to sign to her label then pulled out that's probably the only reason Nikki even did the two songs with you she gave you a very big look and you go and talk about her behind her back like a dog so when people act like Nikki is just having issues with women and they don't understand why this is a prime example of why because every single time she opens up her her arms, her heart to support these girls. They go and they dog her out. They talk about her and then they shade her and try to compete with her and do weird stuff like make a stylist, make wigs to look like her just to get mentioned in the same conversation as her, right? Um, so it's weird behavior. Ice, you look like a clown for doing it and you are even more of a clown for doubling down on it. And so Nikki is justified for not really fooling with Ice like that. And Ice is lucky that Nikki even still follows her on social media and just decided to let it be. She's really lucky that she decided not to say anything because Ice is 100% completely in the wrong. So I'm not going to be too long-winded with this video. I think it speaks for itself that Ice, mm, she's being steered in the wrong direction and she's making the wrong decisions and she needs to really snap out of it. Uh, let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel please and um yeah comment <laughs> bye